Right. But, but Enoch Burke did say to Mr Justice Quinn that he would, the judge, would answer to God for imprisoning someone for their religious beliefs. That's not why he's gone to jail, clearly. We're dealing with here. Uh, I'm just waiting now. Rosemary Mallon, BL, on the 30th of August 2022, speaking to, to uh, Judge Siobhan Stack, on the first day Enoch Burke's case was heard in the High Court, she said it is nothing to do with Mr. Burke's view. And that was a total wiping out, refusing to acknowledge Neve McShane's report. And I'm just going to read a few things from Neve McShane's report. This is where the narrative begins. She said, for Enoch Burke to challenge her instructions to accept transgenderism and to promote it is a grave concern to her. She said to express his religious beliefs on transgenderism is a grave concern to her. She spoke of the implications the implications for those children wishing to transgender in the future. And Enoch was a danger in that school, she said, because of his Christian beliefs. Mm. It's a lie, Rosemary Mallon, Alexander White, every single judge, I'm not going into them again today, and Connor Dignam. Connor Dignam made his last ruling mm -hmm. and he left out he left out the conclusion, concluding remarks of Neve McShane, saying that it was really, just to, to, to sum it up, it was all because of Enoch Burke's uh, religious beliefs mm -hmm. on transgenderism. And Connor left that out, and then even when, when he was uh, written to uh, and um, yes, emailed about too. it by uh, my son Isaac, Dr. Isaac here, you know, he came back and he said it was a clerical error. Mm -hmm. We don't believe any of that. No. And you know, it's, a, it, it's a disgraceful moment. for Alexander White and Judge Sanfi and others in here today to interrogate my son mm -hmm. and to intimidate him mm -hmm. on his own. His family aren't allowed into the room. He's intimidated and he's been told that he's costing the state a lot. He's costing the state nothing. Mm -hmm. He's been denied his constitutional right Absolutely. to his religious belief. Mm -hmm. That's clear in Neve McShane's report. Yes. It's as clear as the day. It's That's plain, all this is about. There. And these courts are denying that. They cannot acknowledge that it's about transgenderism mm -hmm. because that means they've lost. Because yes. we have rights, we yes. have religious rights. Every teacher in this school, in this country, has religious rights. It's totally wrong what's happening, that this is shoved down the necks of every man, woman and child. Young children, and you know, those people like Neve Vick